looks about though. But anyway. Ready? Yeah. Oh, I'm doing it. Howdy. Hey. Guys, this is not how it's supposed to be, Chrissy. You're supposed to be like, you have to still say hi, guys. You have to. It's the only way. Okay, <laughs> try it again from the top. No, you want me to go first. Just say it. It's ready for the flow. <laughs> okay. Hey, guys. Howdy. Oh, okay, 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 okay. <laughs> All right, guys. <laughs> so you should come up with your own flow and do it like how you did the one thing where you were like, we have a list of questions and I can even remember the cadence. <laughs> Why don't you just... No, just do it. I'm prepared. Okay. Go. Hey, guys. Howdy. Welcome back and welcome to the Roomies Digest. I am your host this evening. I am Monique, you know, and my lovely co-host. Christine. Yes, yes. And today we are doing our favorite thing. We are talking about being our, fools. Yeah, being fools this April. Um, <laughs> our April plans, our April TBR. Do we have one, you know? So I'm ready to jump right into it, but you yeah. know. Happy April 1st you know april fool's day yeah are um, we pranking you are we even planning on reading the month these? of foolery should we say that the things that we say on this published day that we might not even do it because it is april fool's day let's not confuse them yeah, the books no. that we're talking about today we will be reading. reading but um we do have some fun plans and uh that's what we're gonna say yeah so All let's right. get into it bum bum Da 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 bum bum da. All right, so first up, uh, Christine has made this lovely idea of color sticks on stick colors on sticks, <laughs> um, and we read books from our own TBR because we shouldn't be buying books yet. We still do. It's true. Um, you had blue. What did you have last month? <laughs> great question. <laughs> green, green Mine and blue. Was black. So your three are black, green, and blue. But shouldn't we just keep all the colors in there? We have so many books. Don't you want to go through ones that you haven't done yet? Sure. Okay. This is Monique's pick, obviously. Oh, okay. Here we go. Don't look. Silver gray. Silver gray. Silver gray. And then the next Silver jar. Silver gray. Okay. It's Christmas time in the city. I can't. Treat yourself. Does that mean I buy a book? No. Oh. I mean, I guess it could, but like I I put it in there as like a pick whatever book you wanted. Okay. Well. All right. Cool. Lucky for me. Now it's your my turn. Now it's my turn. Green. Green. That would have been fun for last month, but it's fine. Wasted opportunity. Where is Rachel? Oh, help me, I'm poor. Rachel. Carol, Rachel. You only did it two times. That's right. That's right. And that's on that. Okay. Can you put treat yourself in there just in case I draw it? I don't think that's fair. Just kidding. <sighs> okay. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> treat yourself! <laughs> life with this one <laughs> that was some destiny serendipity i don't even know if serendipity is the right <laughs> conjugation of that word anyway okay that is so fun so we both get to pick who you know we, we read from monique's got silver and i've got green so we're gonna have a quick commercial break and We'll get you those books. Okay. Okay. So we are back. We've got our books. Do you want to start off? Yeah. I'm going to be reading this classic, the first book in the Murderbot series, Diaries. Uh, it's called All Systems Red. I was gifted this by Nicole Lee. So thank you, Nicole. And um, yeah, I'm excited to read it. So I think pretty much this book is about like... In a corporate domain space, space, space. Is it about AI robots? Yeah, I think it's just robots that just kind of 
start killing people. Yeah. And that's actually exactly what it is. Yeah. And that's my kind of book. And, and look at the link. The Gospel Truth. Interesting that you say that because I too also picked a smaller book. So my pick is Radiance, which Vish got me. So thank you, Vish. But basically this is a fantasy romance. And she said it's a very much a romance, like with a sprinkle of fantasy. I don't really know too, too much like what it's about. Um, but all my like fantasy romance readers have said that this is a really, really cute story. Like there's a little cinnamon roll for the, you know, main love interest. So I'm really excited to get into it because I, I have been wanting to read another like fantasy romance. So yeah, that's what I'm going to be reading. And then as far as the color pickers go, my green book is going to be The Last House on Needless Street by Catriona Ward, which we recently went to see her at like a book signing and she signed the copy for but y'all know I'm obsessed with Sundial, the other book that I read of hers. And she did admit like when we met her that this book is different than that one, but hopefully I still like it. So I have heard that once you read it and like the, you know, the point of it comes out, it's just kind of like, okay, thank you. Thank you. It's done. So that's pretty much all I know. I'm excited to read this one because I really love her writing and I want to see if it holds up. Because if it does in this one, then I'm gonna just have to go through her whole entire backlist because she was such a fun person to me. She really was. Like, she was so nice. I didn't realize she was British. I mean, yeah. Mm. You know? It makes sense, though. Can't you really learn? Yeah, and Abby, saw, like, Abby did tell us that she was meeting her in England. Oh, you're right. England, and I was like, oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <I'm> just, <laughs> that's true. Yeah, like, I just don't think, obviously. <laughs> so, anyway, that's gonna be my green book for this month. Nice. I didn't mention, but this was my silver gray pick as well. Oh, so you did double, double yeah. time. Okay, cool. So let's get into our uh, book clubs. Book clubs for the month of April for our book club, our movie night book club. We are going to be reading The Last Song by none other than Nicholas Sparks. Yes, everyone, we're reading The Last Song. And we're going to watch the movie with Miley and Liam, their love story and see how it tragically started. <laughs> I'm oh, excited, man. I'm pumped. This is one of my favorite movies because I'm a, like a Miley Ho. But yeah, I'm excited. I've never read this book before and we wanted to do something a little bit lighter uh, because our picks, obviously the last two, have been sci-fi, thriller, a little heavy. And a lot of people in our Discord wanted to do like a romance. So this is what we're starting off with. Hopefully that like, you know, quenches the desire. their desire. Yeah. And it's a lot of fun. So again, if you guys are Want to be a part of the book club please click the discord link join us and put in your suggestions because we are looking at them you know we are we are looking at them we have a master list of all the books yeah. that we want to get to and so. we are sifting through sifting through the other book that we're going to be reading together next month y'all know we do kind of like this cringy book club you know the name is Read along. yeah the name is up in the air because it's not official but it's the unofficial official cringy book club reading Long sure. sprints. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, so we decided that we are going to be reading After by Anna Todd. Yes. Yes. The um, stunning Netflix adaption of this movie. You all may remember a uh, very uh, low budget film. Some could say micro. <laughs> no, I'm not going to say <laughs> not that. Not a micro budget. <laughs> micro sag budget. Uh, anyway, but yeah. So after basically follows our main character. What is her name? Tessa. Our main character, Tessa, who is very sheltered, very conservative lifestyle, goes to college, meets our bad boy. What is his name? Harden. Okay. Mm -hmm. I know this book and I still don't know their names. Meets this bad boy Harden and they kind of have like a Romeo and Juliet love story. Okay. Then some crazy stuff starts happening and, you know, he gets a little obsessive. She uh, falls in love and their love story continues over 15 books. So we are only going to be reading the first book in yeah, this series. Yeah, I'm committed to this one and this one alone. This is Sarah's pick because Sarah is going to be hosting it on her channel. So we'll have... Everybody who is in our Cringy Book Club, uh, links down below. But especially if you want to join us, make sure that you're subscribed to Sarah so that you'll get the updates for when we're doing sprints for this. Because you all know it's up in the air. It's really just when we're all available and there's yeah, five of us. There's so. five of us. We live in different parts of the country. Yeah. So we really got to like be like, y'all ready tonight? Yeah. Let's go. <laughs> so anyway, that is going to be the book that we'll be reading together next month. 
And then last but not least, as far as book clubs go, y'all know that I am a part of Fanta Series, which is a fantasy series book club hosted by myself, Let Me in the Library, Miss Rachel, Nicole Lee from Bon Bon Rees, and Jess from Books Past Bedtime. We are currently reading the Poppy War Trilogy. And this month we are supposed to be reading the Burning God by R.F. Quang. It's the last book in the trilogy. Have I read the second one? No, but I will have it done before the live show. I promise, promise, promise. But this month we are reading The Burning God. So if you guys are on that book in the trilogy and you want to knock it out, you want to talk to some people about it, we want to get through this trauma together, click that link down below and join our Discord because we are going to be discussing it at the beginning of May. And also, if you want a chance to vote on our next series, which will be something that we do at the end of April. Go ahead and join our Discord so that we can pick our next fantasy series. I always love, like, I know you're not in the book club with me, but like, I love it when we pick our next series because it's like a race, you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> everyone's got their own tastes and I'm like, who's going to win? Because it's always like neck and neck. I think from all of the books that we picked so far, The Poppy War actually was the landslide because we had like 80 something votes on that one and then like five for the rest of the books. <laughs> Yeah. You tried, you tried yes. to hold up. You know, sometimes there's just a clear winner. It is. Not it everyone is. can be LeBron James. And know? honestly, it's it's one of the best trilogies I've ever read. So there you go. But yeah, if you guys are interested in that, then go ahead and click that link down below. Nice, nice. All right. And then, of course, as you know, we do our book of the month vlogs. Um, I know you probably saw me hold this up for last month's TBR, but I am pushing this to do a buddy read with Sarah from Sarah Shelves and I believe Jan from Jan, Jan Avaton. I'm really looking forward to reading this and I know we're going to have some wild reactions to this book. Again, if you don't know, this book follows a professor who's kind of gotten involved in a a school scandal because her husband is being there's allegations that he has misconduct with some students and then a lot of their like personal life gets you know unfolded like they have an open marriage and all kind of things but i know it's about to be some drama yeah, some mess drama. some mess and i am looking forward to uh, vlogging my reactions and um reading them with the girlies so with the girlies yep all right so the next book i will be reading is book of cold cases by simone st james a lot of people have been picking this up and speaking I, of jan yeah i think she really liked that book last month yeah and i think angelia also might, might be liking it Let also it's a berkeley book oh fancy anyway yeah we love them and it follows a true crime podcaster who is interviewing a person that was um i think she was cleared of any wrongdoing of like murdering let me triple check but still has the reputation acquitted that's the word acquitted of two cold case slings and two case. yeah and so like they're meeting regularly to talk about it and she's not sure she's like something ain't right here so she's not sure if she's actually a murderer or she's like did you actually kill these people so we get to go along for the ride yeah i mean if and she had evidence enough to take it to trial twice that probably is a little suspect i don't know i don't know what the actual crime is but lady killer murders it's two men slaying. yeah seemingly random were murdered with the same gun with strange notes left behind interesting yeah so you guys know i love a thriller so that sounds like a lot of fun yeah cool and then for a book of the month i am going to be reading um a river enchanted by rebecca ross this is just like a fantasy um book i'm pretty sure it is not like based on anything like a retelling or myth or anything i think it's a whole new kind of like world but i've just kind of seen this floating around on instagram and um i really want to read it because i've i've her good things um and i'm getting like a thousand ships vibes you know what i mean like i'm getting like greek mythology vibes definitely a heart from the ocean right if it's yeah. not greek mythology what could it be well and and this is what it says like it starts with a letter from an ominous journey across dark waters 10 years after being sent away from the mainland to become a baird jack tamerlane is summoned home to cadence but his return is not a joyous one. Girls have been going missing from the island, and Adara, future leader of the clan, believes Jack is the one who can find them. Or maybe it's like Norse mythology. Yeah, so like I'm not really sure what it's based on. I haven't done any research, but this is February 2022, and I'm really excited to get into it because I've heard nothing but good things. So that's what we're going to be reading for next month. Mm -hmm. and that's all I've really got. 
Ooh, just say it out loud. One more buddy read I have planned um, is the follow up to Pet, which is bitter. I believe I want to read this with Steph from Stephanie Bookish and Jayla from Lala Loves Lit. It's gonna be a fun time. It's kind of like, in my mind, it's gonna be like a prequel to some events that were alluded to in Pet. So I am just gonna go in. Not gonna know too much. Blindy blind. Yeah, not gonna know too much, but it's very. And look at this cover. Yeah, they always look really good. Yeah, they always and look really Pet good. Pet is so good. So mm -hmm. I have nothing but high hopes. Let's just hope. Please, 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 quick ape. And then last but not least, I'm also trying to do buddy reads every month so that we can, you know, read down our physical TBR. I'm gonna be buddy reading Until the Last of Me by Sylvain Nue Nuevo, Nuevo, I can never say his last Nouvelle. name, Novell. There we go. Um, with Rachel from Let Me in the Library. Now, Rachel is notorious for buddy reading with people but not budding reading with people, you know what I'm saying? So we'll see how this goes. Like it's not high, high priority for next month. Like I can pretty much read it at any time. And I really want to read it with Rachel because this is one of her favorite authors. And I really liked the first book. Like I gave it five stars. The audio was really great. And it basically just is a retelling of history with his like made up character Mia and kind of like how she made things happen in history due to like who she is as a person. It's a little sci-fi, it's a little historical. Um, and it's going to be interesting because the end of the last book was seriously crazy, like crazy, crazy, crazy stuff happened. So I'm interested to see kind of more of the lore and you know what's going to be happening as far as like the sci-fi element because I think that's going to be more prominent in this book. So we'll see how it goes. I'm really excited to get into this one um, and hopefully Rachel and I can read it together but we'll see. Yeah I really want to read that. I'm going to read the first one. Yeah well it's like interesting because um, Jared said that he didn't really like the first yeah, one. Yeah so I'm like hmm. And I'm like was it because it was on audio that I really liked it or is it because it was physical? So maybe if you start it on physical and you don't like it try the audio or like whichever way because he read it physically and he didn't like it. But like the I audio mean, was so good. I've never actually read because I've only read The Sleeping Giants by him mm -hmm. and I read that on audio and it was really good but I have it picked up the physical copy of the second book yet because i'm like one day i will right so like maybe or maybe I, try it on audio i don't know yeah maybe I'll just it was full cast so it was like very well yeah, done i don't know in my opinion the audio books for his books are just top tier top tier yeah i can't wait so like once i read this one then i'll go into sleeping giants and it'll be a fun time because obviously his writing is good he does a lot of research for his books this one honestly talks about the space race yeah it's like the space race and so he's developing rockets and he said in the back of the first book he knew nothing about rocket science like at all so we had to do all this research for it so anyway interesting little tidbit you know those those things we like to read about so those are all the books that we have to get to next month because of book clubs you know our vlogs we do have a net galley vlog that is going to be coming out next month as well the only book that i'm going to be reading for that is going to be the book of night because that comes out in may and y'all know i'm a holly black stan so I'm excited because this is her first adult book and you know I think there's a little bit of mystery I think there's you know some murder I think there's some magic so I'm really 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 excited to get into that one and that's all that I have on the docket for next month for NetGalley. And then for me I'm going to be planning to read A Prayer for the Crown Chai by Becky Chambers. Uh, Becky Chambers is one of my favorite sci-fi readers so anything I see is an immediate like read yeah so I'm looking forward to reading that I think it's a new series okay um or I know I think it's a follow-up what's the first book Rachel would know this I think it's a psalm a psalm yes one. yes a psalm of something something a psalm for the wild bit let me look it up it's something like that but the cover of this one looks exactly like that one like they literally look like they could be cousins yeah i think it's the second book for the wild built a song for the wild built prayer for the crown shy has to be the second one yeah yeah so i'm looking forward to reading these books all right cool as far as the rest of the month y'all y'all know the title of this video um april is for fools we have so much content planned for <laughs> april it's kind of embarrassing like it's it's really just chaotic and crazy we have so many vlogs planned for you guys we have so many fun things coming up so good luck to us all good luck to us all in the month of april but yeah we've got some fun things in development it's going to be a crazy chaotic month and as far as the rest of our tbr like whatever we pick up we're just gonna pick it up you yeah. know we're gonna truly be mood reading i'm we're putting our i just allude to we're putting our fate 
in a lot of people's hands, you know, like good luck to us, prayers, uh, whatever you believe, good vibes, good vibes and manifest good things, you know, cause that's really what April is about. Foolish Activity. decisions and, 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 and spending choices. So at the end of the day, what can I say, but please pray and let us live on to another day and I'll keep going mm -hmm. like this, but you know, we've got things to do and 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 books to read so yeah and you guys know all of our links are down below so if you're interested in any of that content and what we're doing outside of youtube we've got instagram tiktok and yeah that's pretty much all i got that's all i have for april we're about yeah. to be foolish yep and we're trying some new things so hopefully you guys like it yeah we're not really that creative so we're taking a leap of faith we're trying new things mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. and that this is a great month to try it you know just yeah. write it off spring right out may we'll do something new, new beginnings <laughs> may yeah spring showers may. will bring may flowers may the force be with us you know may is what we're gonna go with the algorithm be with us. <laughs> Again, if you guys want to, are interested in seeing any of that stuff, hit the notification bell and subscribe so you know when we are dropping these crazy things. And again, leave a comment down below if you're looking forward to any of these books or you're going to steer me away from any of them. You're like, please don't read what don't you read said you're going to read. Book. Yeah. I would love to know your opinion. We yeah. both would. We would. We really would. Like this video if you guys want to support us on this channel. And like Monique said, make sure you're subscribed. Um, if you guys want to connect with us in any other way, our Discord is the best way. We are learning on that thing and chit chatting with people every day so go ahead and join down below and yeah that's pretty much it that's all i got yeah thanks so. again until next time bye